Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another True Infinity Gamma video, episode 3, and you can see I have done some off-camera progression, I've gotten all of these upgrades, and apparently they all max, for whatever reason, even though it only says this one maxes, I guess this one's just one level, but yeah, and I get Infinity for 3 points, I have 1.35 E11 Infinity power, so hopefully... This will do something. So first I can get this. Extensionality. Which will double online production of infinity. There's literally nothing else I can do. Which is very lame. Because, I mean, yes I have the infinity power. So it's going to go a lot faster. And, um, but even with that, it's just going to be slow. Because on infinity, I only have 26 infinity points. I guess I do have... I'm getting 160 unfunity points per hour, but still, I feel like like the unfunity is extremely weak. Like when you compare it to to the infinity power, and I can't get any infinity dimensions. I need at least 10 more infinity points. So I don't really like that I have to do runs like this without having anything be buffed. So like I can I can just try to push as far as I can here, and Let's see, am I going to reach E175? No. Why am I not? Okay. 168. Probably just got to wait for this E172 to happen first. And then I can get the E175. And, yeah, okay, now I can get this. E226 is also hard. I don't know. If I feel like maybe there's a balancing update or something. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. And, let's see, E256, E283, and I should be able to reach Infinity. But I do want to get these upgrades, though, because they do actually really help. And it's not they're not too hard to reach, I don't think. So, like, like I think if I just get one more upgrade, I can get E384 antimatter. And the longer runs can give three Infinity points. But may maybe it's not worth it, because I, I can't seem to be getting any upgrade. And there's not much I can do. Maybe I should just do one Infinity Point runs. Which is very lame. The set theory thing, it's... I mean, this, this pie chart is cool, but... These upgrades... At least this upgrade is extremely weak. I don't know what this blur is. At least I can get two infinity points now, so I guess I can just do that until I get ten. So, yeah, that means it's going to take a while. These upgrades are going to be very weak as well, which is another unfortunate thing. Oops. And, yeah, I just, I'm just going to have to deal with it. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and I actually got ten infinity points. And I was holding M, so I bought it on this. So... That's why I have um, a third infinity dimension, and also it was the game was a lot faster than what it previously what, what I previously showed you because I don't know it, this game is just extremely unpredictable with everything. Also, I'm up to 97 on infinity points, so that's ac that's actually pretty good. I should be able to get infinity points a lot faster at this point. Like you can see, all I'm really doing is just getting these upgrades over and over again, and then usually I can get three infinity points from this. So usually I it's pretty easy to get every one of these upgrades. So E320, E346, E384, E415, and yeah, you can see this is maxed. It's only a few more levels until that's maxed. So yeah, this is, like, this is how much antimatter I usually get up to. It's a little higher than usual because of... Um, I think the unfunity points, but it's still only going to give me three infinity points. Which is kind of lame. I guess I could just get the unfunity upgrade and I'll just do four of these runs so I can get specification. So, yeah, hopefully I can get that the super unfun upgrade. Hopefully it's going to be a powerful reduction in scaling because this is not very good. So I'm just going to get this, I'm going to infinity, and yeah, see in a bit. Here's a case where you can see how maddeningly 
like Madden, how do you pronounce that? Maddeningly inconsistent this game is. Like last time to get to E384, it took about like took like five seconds. Now I'm at E376, and it's gonna take at least a couple minutes, just because of how inconsistent this game is. I could just get the two infinity points. I'll probably just do that instead. Yeah, this game is really weird. And you can see this is the next run. You see how much quicker it is to reach E384 than last run. I mean, yes, I do have two more infinity points, but that does basically nothing. And even with the unfunity and everything, it's just not that much of an actual change in progression speed. So, yeah, this, this is real. This game is just. This is definitely some sort of bug because this is. I mean, it says this game is unbalanced. You're just used to more balanced games. I consider this extremely unbalanced because of just how inconsistent everything is. I mean, it's not the same sort of unbalanced as you could could say for an extremely slow or fast game. It's not really either of, of those, but the inconsistently, inconsistently, oh my god, inconsistency of this game is just, it needs to be addressed. Okay, I can finally get three infinity points. And this means I will be able to get the next set theory upgrade. So, yeah, the will reduce the scaling for super unfun upgrade. It's not even that exciting, probably. That's a very weak upgrade. I was hoping for a much more powerful upgrade here, but unfortunately, the cost only decreased by 40%. That is extremely lame, and... The only other upgrade that's within reach is this 11 infinity point upgrade that's barely going to do anything. I mean, what I could do, I could try to grind up to 11 infinity points. I'll just take a few more runs and then do one more run and try to get all the way, like all the way to as much antimatter as possible. That will help me get as much infinity power as possible, which will help a little bit. But... I don't see it helping that much. Like, it's not going to be a major increase. And at least while I'm actively grinding this, I'll be getting some unfunity points. Because I am getting 320 unfunity points per hour, which is actually... That's like one every 11 or 12 seconds, so that's actually pretty decent. Like, that's enough that I can really start making it increase. And if I was to actively grind for hours, I could get potentially a thousand on funity points so I mean yeah it's possible but I get especially with just all the all the doubling and increasing the online production um, I really don't think I should get the super unfun upgrade before I get the online unfun upgrade because I'm gonna want more and more unfunity points then because I think at, at I was at a hundred and this is at a seven times boost so that's it's, it's doubling this to give me like over double of the spoofs, which must mean there's a super linear, um, yeah, super linear formula for the um, unfundy point effect, and maybe that could actually have a real effect on these. Like the, these upgrades are disappointingly weak. You you would think that since they have their whole own tab and like there's this whole, it seriously there's this whole. The, the pie chart you'd think it do it would do more than what it's currently doing but no it's just not it's not doing what I'd expect it to do and these upgrades are repeatable and some of these are just blurred for some reason maybe they're just not maybe this, since this is you know a beta build even though this is true infinity gamma um, maybe that's why like they just haven't been coded yet or they're or they have been coded in like the test version but there's some sort of game-breaking bug that happens when you buy them, so that's probably why. But I'm still not sure why they're blurred instead of like grayed out or something, or just not existing at all. So I think that that is something that is curious about this game. Another thing that's curious about this game is why this is E30 and this is fifty thousand, and 
I would think this would be 30, not E30. I mean, that would make the game a lot more balanced, especially considering what it's doing. What it's doing, it is essentially, dimensional jump has a higher limit based on your infinity points. Limited at 100. That would be a very good upgrade for this point in the game. It would not be unreachable, like the E30 version, and it would dramatically change the game. Maybe it's a bug that, or some sort of typo that Greenheart accidentally put E30 instead of 30, but yeah, I guess I'll just have to deal with that for now. Okay, now to the point where I can get one upgrade of this, you're going to see how incredibly weak it is. It's going to go from divided by 1 to divided by 1. That did basically nothing. Maybe it's went from like divided by 1.5 to divided by 0.75 and they both round to 1. That's my guess. But like it has to do something. If it doesn't do anything, then well, it's probably bugged. But yeah, if, if it's bugged, that needs to be fixed. And if it's not, that's just terrible game design because there's, no, there's almost nothing else you can do. So, yeah, it's just getting these upgrades, getting the infinity points. What, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push to as high as possible at this point. It is a little bit faster than before, probably because of Unfunity. I'm guessing Unfunity actually also gives a boost to production of infinity dimensions rather than just regular dimensions. So, you can see I'm getting... And it's not that much more than before. But you can see I'm up to 75 on Fundy points. I could just try to grind more of them. But I think at this point, I'm just going to want to grind these Infinity Dimensions. Hopefully I can get some more Infinity Power. It's about 5e8 times 7. That'll be about um, 3.5e9 per second. And if I wait an entire day with that, that'll give me about 3e14 Infinity Power. So that's a little over an order of magnitude higher. So, yeah, there's that. And I'll just be checking in just to try to get more unfunity points. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.